Hey, Lewis. What does it know? Sally says that you were out in the car this morning. Sally should keep her nose in her gossip magazines where it belongs. So you didn't go out in the car this morning? I said that already. I don't believe him. Which of the old folks could have driven the car without Lewis noticing? Are you back already? What are you talking about? Bates said he'd sent Sally to you, so you drive her to the travel agent. Why a travel agent? If he's thrown her out, it would be just as easy to put her on a train. You mean... Sally wasn't here? I haven't seen her since this morning. What's going on? Is he lying? Or Sally? Or is it... Bates? Are one of those three the murderer? Only one of them has left the ground since I got here. Well, um... See you later. Not if I see you first. Darren, Bates may have well told her to sort out the tickets. The unknown antagonist then murdered her before she could reach Lewis. That means all three of them could be innocent. Or better yet, anyone in the castle could still be after me. Yeah, well, apart from Sally. She's the second young woman that was getting in someone's way. face is completely swollen. It looks as though she's been scalded. Oh, disgusting. Some bastard forced her face under the water. She either drowned or she died of shock. Huh. Is she pointing to something? What could she have been pointing to? Was something reflected there? I, I don't understand it. The window's open, but no one could have climbed in here. It'd be quite difficult to climb up the facade. The window is closed. The water is boiling hot. There really is something written on the tiles. B. Like Bates. That must mean that Bates isn't the murderer. I mean, how could Sally have written a B on the tiles? And when? As her head was being held underwater and she was frantically fighting for her life? Or after the shot caused her untimely death? I'm not gonna make it that easy for you. You're gonna have to be a bit more creative to throw me off the set. Bates is the one I can trust the most. It seems the murderer wanted to keep me away from him. I have to talk to Bates. The killer wanted me to suspect the butler, but his misguided message only achieved the opposite. Oh no! The castle is burning! Uh, towels. 
Some of them are huge. I'll take uh, one of the very big ones. Excellent. It's dripping wet. Okay, Darren. Take a deep breath and go for it. Bates! Can you hear me? Adrian, my boy, it's all over. <coughs> the castle. Don't worry, I'll, I'll get you out of here. No. I've spent my whole life in this castle, and I want to die here. But you. Listen, boy. This castle drove your father and his father before him to disaster. Don't let it corrupt you, too. Defend yourself against it. How should I defend myself against it? Get away from here and don't ever come back. <laughs> you have a life in New England waiting for you. A good life, even if you don't see it like that. Run, Darren Michaels. Run, and don't ever look back. Okay, I'll go, but not before I found Angelina's murderer. Ah, there you are. I was starting to worry I'd started the fire too soon. What? It was you? You killed Angelina and the others? You set fire to the castle and imprisoned me? I started the fire, yes. And I locked you in the bunker. But I'm no murderer. So don't force me to be one. What is all this? What do you want? This is no time for long explanations. The car's waiting. We're going on a little trip. All right then, Lewis. What have you got to do with the Gordons? Why are you chasing this illusion? I'm not interested in the curse. He's only after the money. That... That's impossible! Hello, dear brother. So, you still haven't worked it out. What? What are you doing? I'm fulfilling my destiny. I will evoke Mordred's power and use it for my own purposes. And Boris? And Sally? And my adoptive mother? She guessed who I was when I was seen under the door. She wanted to warn the Order. I couldn't allow that. She banged her head on the side table. I thought she was dead. What's this all about? W what do you want from me? I cannot enter the Academy nor the Summoning Chamber without the blood of a male Gordon. You just can't imagine my disappointment when I had to acknowledge that Richard's blood wouldn't do, and my delight when I found you. And the whole time you never knew about me? No. 
our mother and the others kept the secret very well hidden. But then I found some writings which told me everything. I came to Pitifer to wrap you around my little finger, and it worked well. I knew that we were bonded by something, and that you'd do anything for me. What was all that with Reginald Boris? The Order put him on my back, as I found out shortly after your mother's accident. Boris wanted to sideline me, putting me in the frame for Fuller's murder. My plan was to take you back with me to England. But as long as Boris was around, I was worried that he'd tell you all about me. So I flew back to England and called you up. And just as I expected, you turned up here like a shining hero to rescue me. And your death? Who had to die for you? The good Miss Valley built the order back up again. After there had been no sign of it for almost a hundred years. No wonder that she hung around there so much. Samuel, our father, killed her little brother, Vic. I had to protect myself from her. <sighs> so you murdered her in cold blood and set her on fire. And killed two birds with one stone. No pun intended. The Order lost its leader and everyone thought I was dead to boot. All I had to do was forge my diary entries and lure you into the castle. Wasn't that a big risk? Sending me into the castle? Of course. But what choice did I have? I couldn't go myself, and Lewis had proven himself to be incapable. If anyone could find the mosaic tiles, it was you. I guess that you'd found out about our secret. But we always had a plan B for that eventuality. Set fire to the castle and kill everyone in it? How'd you arrive at that? Mom? Now, get in there. Stand there, Mother. Listen, Angelina. Shut it. Lewis, guard the door. Make sure that no one gets in or out. And you... Let me guess. I've got to open the door. Correct. Put the pieces in place. Don't worry, Mom. I'll get us out of here. Shut up! You should be worrying about making some progress here! That's strange. The candle on the plinth is burning. Who lit it? The tile fits exactly into one of the grooves. The second tile fits too. It's just the left. Okay, all the tiles are in place. Maybe I can press it. I don't think so. Cut open your hand on the wall. You want me to... Do it! Don't do it, Darren. You mustn't open the gate for her. I'll count to three. Three. Stop! All right. I'll do it. in there. 
Impressive. It looks like it's been a real long time since anyone has been in here. This is just the beginning. I can feel the power. Mordred is here. Very close. <sighs> Crap. The Academy's builder picked eight chosen ones who guard over the power. The gate should only be opened when all eight are standing on these stone slabs. Otherwise, death will follow. So it says in the old writings. Oh well, I guess we can forget that. There's just four of us. Don't be stupid. You'll think of something, dear brother. She's completely nuts. It's no good. It seems like each of the eight slabs has to be loaded with weight. But what if one of the eight chosen ones suddenly and irreplaceably dies? They must have taken some precautions against that happening. I better take a look around. They're gargoyles, or demons, maybe even the devil. I've got no idea, and I'm not interested. There's a note lying here. There's a semicircle drawn on the note. It's made up of eight different symbols. I reckon that this is some kind of a user manual for the floor slabs. There's a knife or something drawn on the third tile from the left. Also, there's a flower on the outer left one. The, the left hand middle one has a sun. The, the right hand middle one has water. And the outer right one is a snowflake. <laughs> Gate. It doesn't look like it's easy to open. There's a semicircle drawn on the note. It's made up of eight different symbols. I reckon that this is some kind of a user manual for the floor slabs. There's a knife or something drawn on the third tile from the left. Also, there's a flower on the outer left one. The left-hand middle one has a sun. The, the right-hand middle one has water. And the outer right one is a snowflake. A total of eight stone slabs embedded in the floor. Let's see. That... Wasn't so great. Carefully now.
Uh, Mom? Yes, Adrian? Would you please stand on the stone slab right there? Is, is it safe? Yes, trust me. All right then. Angelina? What is it? What do you want from me exactly? You still don't get it. If I got one stupid brother or what? Open the grate. You only have to press on all of the stone slabs. <laughs> on my own. How am I supposed to do that? You'll think of something. You have to stand on one of the stone slabs. So I can then get a knife in my ribs. I don't think so. The stone slabs are connected to the grate. If you don't stand on them, I can't open the grate. Then where should she go? Mom, can you please stand on the stone slab here? Too close, but love me true. Too close, and I'll devour you. It says here, dress of green and hat of white, all would agree a welcome sight. With bells that in the wind do swing, heralding the start of spring. There's a rhyme on the panel. Sails I have, but sail I don't, at least not on the sea. But round and round, and up and down, working hard for thee. Grinding up with my back teeth, producing, as I said, the main ingredient which you need to make your daily bread. Here's written, in the air it flies, on the ground it lies. It adorns the trees, makes old men wheeze, on the stove it melts, from gray skies it pelts. There's some kind of mechanism fitted here. Lots of symbols. <laughs> what a surprise.
didn't work. There must be another answer. Perhaps I should read through the slabs again. I'm sure I'll get it. And then I've got to adjust the answer symbols to fit the appropriate seasons. didn't work. There must be another answer. Perhaps and then I've got to adjust the answer sim. Thank you. 